Jerwin, Pretty Boy on Cajas versus Jonathan Rodriguez. Who do y'all think is going to win this fight? Ancas will be defending his IBF Junior Bantamweight title against his mandatory Jonathan Rodriguez. This fight was supposed to happen a long time ago. I believe last year was supposed to happen last year. But, uh, you know, due to the Corona virus, it ended up getting postponed. Uh, Top Rank was supposed to, um, you know, promote the event to promote the fight. And next thing you know, they're no longer promoting Ancas. This fight will be shown live on April 10 in a PBC card, Premier Boxing Champions in the undercard of Ennis versus the Pinets, live on Showtime on April 10, 9 p.m. Eastern Time. You don't want to miss it. Championship fight, great card, great event. I'm very much looking forward to seeing Ancas back inside the ring against Rodriguez. As a Filipino fight fan, I'm very much supportive of Ancas. I want him to be successful. I hope he com- he becomes the next big thing from the Philippines. But he needs to win these fights. He needs to look good in these fights. And he can, man. He has what it takes. He has a skill set, the, the, the boxing IQ to go out there and look good and get knockouts and get good wins. And I truly hope he becomes the star that the Filipino fight fans need. 29 years old now. Getting into his prime. 32-1, and one, two draws, 22 wins coming by way of Nakar Tikio. Has defended his IBF title multiple times after he defeated... Um, who did he defeat for this title? I think it was Mikjo Arroyo, right? Mikjo Arroyo. So he's defended it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 times already. Traveled all over the place. Traveled to China. Macau, China. Traveled to Australia. Traveled to the UK, traveled to Mexico, fought multiple times here in the States, and now here he is fighting on Showtime against his mandatory Jonathan Rodriguez, a 25 year old fighter from Mexico with a win record of 22 wins, one draw, I mean, one loss, 16 wins coming by way of Nakar TKO. I remember making a prediction video of this fight a while back already. And for what I've seen of Rodriguez, I'm biased. Obviously, I'm biased when it comes to predicting this fight. You know, I want Alcaraz to win. I hope he wins. And I think he will win. I think he will win. You know, Rodriguez is a tough dude. But Alcaraz will be too smart for him. Too smart. Too knowledgeable. Too technical for Rodriguez. Or maybe that's just the Filipino fight fan in me talking. Like I said, I'm biased, man. I'm biased when it comes to this fight. Um, you know, Rodriguez is a tough guy. Only lost once, and that was to Jose Martinez Estrada Garcia back in 2018. And since then, he's won one, two, three, four, five, six, six fights in a row. Five of those by TKO or knockout. But he hasn't really fought anyone that notable. Um, you know, anyone that big. Well, Orokuta, Felipe Orokuta, but you know, not really that big of a win. He doesn't really have that resume that convinces me that. He can go out there and beat somebody like Jerry Ancas at 115 pounds, who's you know up there at 115 pounds. So, in the end, I'm honestly just excited to see Ancas get back inside the ring to watch him fight, and I, I think he'll put on a clinic in this fight against Rodriguez. I'll box him, uh, and you know, land the clean punches, break him down, and possibly stop him. Possibly stop him. I, I could definitely see him stopping him. But I could be wrong. I could be wrong. I've been wrong many times before. Anything is possible in the sport of boxing. Looking forward to a great event. Again, April 10, 2021 on Showtime, 9 p.m. Eastern Time. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for listening and watching. Don't forget to hit that like button if you haven't yet. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet. Please and like always, have a great day. All right, thanks.